Thanks for tuning in today to Ask the Expert. My name is Jeff Mint. Today we're going to talk about three common mistakes people make when considering a refinance. The first one is to always look at taking the lowest rate. The lowest rate isn't always your best option because you have closing costs with it and that also brings up break-even points. And often what we need to look at when refinancing is how long do you still plan on being in the loan or the home. For instance, there's times you can take a quarter of a point higher rate and the break-even point may only be two years on that and that may marry in well with what you want to stay into the home. Second thing I'd like to talk about is thinking about do you need to be dropping 1% uh, in the rate in order to you know, come out on a refinance and the answer to that is no, it really depends on your loan size. If you have a $100,000 loan and you're dropping 1%, in theory you're saving about $1,000 a year. But if you have a $400,000 loan and you're dropping 1%, you're saving $4,000 a year. So what we end up looking at then is based on the size of your loan, how much do you need to drop in rate in order to make it worthwhile? And then again, we need to tie in with point number one, which was how long do you plan on staying in the home to see where your break even point is at. The third and final thing that you want to look at also on it is a no closing cost option. Many people don't look at that option because it's a more expensive rate and so often people get um, so tuned into what is the lowest rate that I can get. The no closing cost option will often be oh, a half a point to five eighths of a point more but the beauty of that is even if you're staying longer and you go into a five or a ten year downward trending mortgage bond cycle which is what we've been in for the last ten years you can continually refinance without laying out any cost and you have no uh, break even point. So that's just some three tips for you on common mistakes of things to avoid when refinancing.